Well hello, it's me back with another ball blog video diary supplement. It's not the nicest of days, it's kind of drizzling, wet and raining, but I was just having a walk in the garden and thinking how how fresh everything's looking despite the weather being barely 10 degrees centigrade. For this time of year it's really cold, so Molly and I are going to go for a wee walk and just share some of the the pleasures of a wet northeast of Scotland garden with the Mechanopsis or the Papavers as I should call them now, the Mech Welsh poppies Aquilegius seeding around the greenery really starts to come in now we've appreciated brilliant colours across the garden since or well, since February now it's cooling to the greens but that doesn't make it any less interesting. We have the podophyllums, spotted dotty, the ferns, a whole range of leaves. Just the whole range, the whole gamut. Look at them, more big spotty leaves, the aracemus. Plenty of aracemas appearing as well. The trilliums, leaves down in the, the foliage growth. But it's just the general views and the ambience as the rain falls and patters on the leaves in my head. The trees, the variegated pyrus, an acer above that, some of the birches. And as we walk up through the paths, the weight of the water is bringing the foliage over. We head up the blue plant. We're heading towards Corridalis Craigston Blue. One of many patches we have of it here in the garden. Here it's interplanted with Dactylorhizus. So we'll, shortly we'll get the pink coming out of the Dactylorhizus going with the blue. And of course, Craigton Blue is fertile, it throws seedlings. And these seedlings look fairly similar to the parent. They pop themselves around everywhere. But it's just nice in the garden. Gentle rain. The white Himalayan birch betula utilis. This is the sort of Jack Monty style. Very high above my head. I'll go up there in, later in the summer and thin that canopy down a wee bit while retaining the naturalistic shape. Seed pods of the erythroniums that have taken over in the path up in the shade we've got the Corridalis uh, Molly! it's not allowed Corridalis draped in purple one of the ones planted here in quite heavy shade so it's my trial to find out how it will grow in different conditions in the garden and this, of course, this area all along here that I'm going to walk along and all up there, new plantings. The area we opened up, cutting back some of the old shrubbery and rhododendrons. And to open up the ground level planting again. Down here we have peonies that are self-seeding around. Which a nice one there. A seedling, if I come out, a seedling's put itself right out on the edge of the path in amongst all the erythroniums that are seeding there and alliums Salmizia walkeri flowers past their best now but still got that lovely starry look the patter of rain comes heavier on my head got Arisema 
Wilson I and across the primulas more of the new plantings up there I uh, hear a helicopter coming over it must be a a rescue helicopter or something we don't often get helicopters I can hear it in the distance it's going to get louder and louder as it's headed this way looking up towards the pond which is where I want to head Camasius, white Camasius seeding themselves around all over the place and it's nice the reflection of the what you get down here is a helicopter just passes over where it goes it's just sure as I get my video camera out some kind of noise is going to happen there we go it's gone so anyway they cover the ground covered and blossom and the yellowing colchicum leaves still pretty so even when flowers go over they can still add something to the beauty of the garden I hope there's not spots of rain going onto my lens here because it's starting to rain quite heavy now so let's go around this is where I thought it would be good to go and look over the rhododendrons towards the laburnum looking really splendid just now the new bed that we looked at the last time is here with more silmizias as we go up the blue corydalis micronopetala seedlings ramondas across we have more of the papavers they just this Welsh poppy just ties in the garden it takes of a turn round you can see there's a few there and a few there and a few in the distance and then they lead off up here it's important to have plants that lead you round a garden of course Mechanopsis as well they're coming out now this one put itself into the corner of a trough it's growing in that wee trough so around to the pond my wild area and just what about hang on to your seats because we're going backwards up into the laburnum I love standing under looking you can see why people make laburnum, arch laburnum archways to walk under it's cool and moist just now so I'm not getting the scent but when it warms up you'll get the lovely scent lemony sort of scent but it's here next to one of the Acer Griseums the lovely red paper bark ferns and irises and pots down to my little natural marginized bed marginal bed so it's at the edge of the water and I really like this I only planted it up last year with or, or no more than two years primula seedlings grasses there's orchids there's native sedges and grasses little containers that where orchids self seed into and up to the iris this lovely iris growing in a pot what are you doing? have you been in the bushes again Molly? so let's just go because it's really getting wetter and wetter so start heading back down towards the house I'm quiet, you can probably hear the rain on the leaves. Let's just head down. You can see how the, as I say, the paths are getting covered as the, the stems of the plants heavy with rain. 
and what moisture collapse onto them. More me mechanopsis up here. The trough areas are headed up towards. Around here a big yellow Doronicum and some of the bigger alliums are now populating the bulb bed where all the early bulb bed but early spring smaller bulbs were in flower before. Orchids starting to come out much later than they usually are because of the cold weather. So just with the, the colour of the canopy, the trees, the rhododendrons, down through the Mechanopsis to the alpines, the big orchids, the smaller orchids, right down to the tiny orchids. <laughs> just good to share. Molly's found shelter under the swing seat. You're not liking the rain, Molly, we're just going to go in. I'm just going to turn and we'll go to close on a shot from here looking back across the garden. So that's it. Thanks for joining me again. And I hope I'll maybe next time I do a, a, a diary, it'll be nicer weather. Thanks for being with me. Bye for now.